All right, YouTube, this is part of my build. Um, I went ahead and put the motherboard in just because I didn't think that would be that essential. I also put a fan in and I got three fans up front and my power unit because these are simple, just screw in and whatnot. So basically, well, let me show y'all first. So pretty much what you're looking at is when you put the motherboard in, there's gonna be nine screws. <laughs> one at the top corner, one in the middle, one at the, the other top corner. Then you come down the board, about halfway, you should see a screw, 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 and a screw at the bottom. So nine total. Three at the top, three in the middle, three at the bottom. So what I'm about to do right now is I'm about to put a M.2 drive in. There's two places on this board. This is the Zeus Hero. So you could put it here or you could put it here. This is slot one, slot two. Being that I've never really played with M.2s, I'm going to put it in slot one, even though I feel like this is going to get hotter because I am not liquid cooling this from the jump. I will eventually liquid cool it probably within a month or so. But at the moment, I am doing air cool for this system, except for the CPU, which will be an all-in-one. But um, pretty much, yeah, this is where I'm at right now. I'm going to unscrew this. We're going to put in the M.2. This is going to be my first time installing an M.2. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> Let me get this set up. There we go. So it's real simple. Everything with computers is pretty much simple. As long as this is the right size screwdriver. If not, ooh. All right, hold on one second. I gotta get my pack of screwdrivers. So what I noticed and why I said ooh was this screw feels like it's extremely tight, which is an extremely bad thing because you don't want to strip these screws, especially not where an M.2 is. So now what I'm doing is I'm going through a pack of screwdrivers I have specially for this to try to find the right size. So the last thing we want to do is strip this. So right now I'm just playing with it. And I found it. All right, this is the right one. So a little slack there. Don't want to take it too much slack because I want to be able to get this next one. Now that one is on there, even tighter. There we go. Broke it. Yeah, these were on there way too tight. Way too tight, guys. So, be careful and make sure you have the right size screwdriver when you're doing this. This head is a zero. So, this is actually a zero size screw or Phillips head. Seems like that's all the way. Make sure this doesn't fall in there. I'll hit this one real fast. Now I figured this was better to show off because, for one, I've never done it before. All right, so here we go. This is pretty much as you see. There's a lip right here, which is that same lip right there. So you really can't put this in upside down because it won't line up. So this pretty much just line up. Looks pretty simple. It looks like I would just push it in. It's not wanting to go in. There is a manual for this. Am I doing something wrong? There we go. There we go. Now it's in. Okay. So that being said how it is pressing it looks like we need to hit the back first 
that lined up is going to be a little more difficult with this being that it's actually wanting to push away from the screw hole. So I don't want to get this super tight. I just want to get it down. And I want to line up the front. Make sure that's down as well. So now we go to the front. Now, you can't see my wrist, but I'm not wearing no type of anti-shock band around my wrist so there's there's no rubber around my wrist i'm not worried about that i've put in plenty of computers together the odds of you building up static shock are low even if you're in wool socks and you're doing your feet on carpet um a lot of that's just propaganda yeah you can it's possible but if you don't have this plugged up or turned on while you're doing this the odds of you causing a uh, residual static shock is slim especially if you're not turning it on anytime soon so we got that there now i'm just gonna increase the tightness i need to pull this off there's plastic so guys now i'm installing the 2080 ti i'm gonna try to do it with one hand if i can Oh, before you put this in, there's a latch right here. You want to make sure this is pushed down, okay? It's hard to do with one hand. I know y'all can't see anything, but I'm struggling to do this with one hand. And I almost feel like it's not fitting in the case. All right, so this is gonna take some bending of the case itself, it's too small for this to fit in the PCI Express lane. So. I'll be right back once it's fully installed. Right, it's fully installed. It took it about two seconds to put in. Once I had both my hands, pretty much you screw it in at the top. Make sure it's lined up. See, that's a PCI Express lane, if you did not know. Then we just come down. You might or might not be able to see it underneath it. You just line it up. Make sure, once again, you make sure that's down. Once you line it up, you push it in. This automatically comes up when the graphics card is seated correctly. So next, we will be installing RAM. All right, just with the graphics card, you see this notch? You line it up there, make sure these clips are down. All right, you really cannot install RAM wrong because it just slides right in. And like I said, that notch in the middle will make sure you're going the right way. So it's very hard to mess it up. There we go. And you just press down until the clip comes. There, it's clipped in. And that's it. That's how you install RAM if you didn't know. I'm just... Because I've got four sticks, you don't have to worry about the lanes. If you only had two sticks, you got to look at your motherboard. Normally, it's every other one. So, for instance, if I only had two, it would be lined up like this. Or it would be lined up here and here. Depending on what your mother book, motherboard manual book says. But, yeah. Just press it in. Press it in. And it'll lock in. We got two more to go, because like I said, I have four. That's what it looks like. In case you're wondering. And as y'all see, well, y'all didn't really see, but all the cables are in. I'm not going to show y'all me putting the cables in. 
I'm just gonna take the phone and explain it in case you didn't know how to do it or where things go. I'm gonna show everything, but there's no need to see me plugging it all in. It's long and tedious and boring work. And if I did show it, I'd just have to fast forward through it and really wouldn't be explaining it. So, there it is, all RAM installed. Right. Finally got my i9 9900K. It comes in this little nice liquor bag. So you could drink alcohol with this bag, walk around with it, whatever you want. There it is. Ooh, look at that sexy thing. Now, one thing that was not said, this right here looks to be cardboard online, but it's actually hard plastic. As you see, it's inside. My hands are a little sweaty. I'm not quite sure how to open this. I think it just slides. But it's gonna be very hard to open and hold this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it out the box, then we'll come back with another edit. Right, so pretty much it was just a couple little plastic things around that, around this, and you just get it open. This is a little hard to open. You might need Chris Ramsey to come over and help you because he's good with puzzles. And there it is, upside down. Let's turn it right side up. So, just so y'all see, boom. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it installed. I'll record it going in. I'm not going to record the all-in-one being mounted to it, but I'll record how to put it in. Then after that, I'll explain where all my wiring went because I've already done the wiring while I was waiting for this. I ordered this on the 8th of October. It was supposed to be here on the 19th. But today is November the 8th, 9th? What's today? The 9th. So I got my i9 on the 9. Anyways, we'll be right back. All right, so this is gonna look upside down to anyone watching. So I have seen real fast where people have left this cap on in videos in the past when installing their CPU. I've never left this cap on. This is too expensive for me to, to do that. So I'm not sure if you're supposed to leave this on or not. As I said, I have seen people do it, but I'm not gonna do it. Now, the next thing you wanna look at is, if you look, and I know this is probably gonna be upside down, but I'll try to edit it to flip it. In the corners, you have little notches. On your motherboard, you will see little upward notches. That's where you're putting your CPU. When you install this, you wanna be careful. Don't try to grab the bottom of this, okay? So you wanna pull it out your plastic, hold it on the sides. When you're not doing it, line it up gently. Once it's lined up, you'll see the, the arrow pointing at the corner. Then you come here bring this down okay you want to get this underneath the screw first once you do that you're coming down you're just pressing there it is locked in place now you're good to go next i'm going to install this which is only adding brackets here and here so i can screw it in and i'll put thermal paste on it which is very simple all it is is i'm just putting screws in and brackets to mount this Nothing you really need to watch. After that, I'll show y'all how I lined up cables and then I'll install Windows, install the BIOS, get it going, get it rolling, and come back. And we're powered up for the first time while Windows is now loading. Show y'all this. And that. And here's the light show of it all put together. Don't know how good it's showing up. I will show it again. But as you can see, it's purple. Purple. Now, the one thing I don't like about this thermal tank is I cannot figure out how to get these fans without a fan controller to turn from white to purple or green, depending on how I want to do it. Can't really see it that good. You see the green? The LEDs on this. Maximus Hero are not that bright on the motherboard, but that's what it looks like completely hooked up So this is gonna be my last video. That's not gonna be edited put together nice next I'm gonna do the Overclocking so we're gonna see how fast I can get this thing to go Aim it for five gigahertz and we'll look at the, um, the Temperatures Right now this is running cold 